Hey guys, it's Byron again here to testify for Jesus Christ. Not long ago, the Lord showed me that he wanted me to do what it really looked like in the dream was a big movie. It was kind of like overhead slide size movie, but I understood that he wanted me to share as much as I could of what I've seen over the past while uh, here on YouTube. Uh, and we also link it into a, a website, www.junipertreeandbeyond. Dot com. I'd encourage you to go there. There's a lot there besides my videos and uh, some some things, prophecies from other people, um, and also teachings from other people. <clears throat> but what I'm going to cover today is a, is a dream. I believe it's related to Jade Helm. Now, let me tell you how I think about Jade Helm. I was in the military, and we used to have certain operations that would run every year. So, like with the case of Jade Helm, you may say Jade Helm 15, and it would represent... 2015 and then next year it may run around and be Jade Helm 16. We had Operation Market Garden things like that and they were always followed by the date of the year that they were actually performed so that's how I think about Jade Helm. I don't necessarily know if this particular year is the year but here's a dream that I saw from uh, what looks to be similar to the Jade Helm setup. In the dream, I was with a military unit. I was not a military person. It was almost as if I was just assigned to hang out with the unit. And we were by this large lake in an open field. On the other side of the lake was a city skyline. I knew that we were beside a large city. I have no idea what city it is, but you know, it was the United States. <clears throat> we were literally just wasting time. The unit commander, literally was wasting time and everybody in the unit was doing absolutely nothing. And finally I just realized I, he's not going to do anything. They're just going to sit here and, and, and do nothing. And then I heard military vehicles coming up and these guys were all partying and I mean not, not necessarily partying like drinking but shooting their rifles in the air and acting like they had just had a wonderful time. And they came in among us and threw spent, you know, rifle cartridges on the ground and were celebrating their exploits they had just done. The assumption I made was it was in that city. And then they began to taunt and also arrest the unit that was doing nothing. And I came to understand that U.S. soldiers were going to be arrested for not taking action on U.S. soldiers. Yeah. It's a crying shame. I mean, you know, with the, the things that are coming on this earth. But one more thing that I, I mean, the dream's over. The one thought I want to leave you with here is, and, and, you know, there's plenty of people trying to make it through life without belief in God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, or maybe beliefs in other gods or stuff like that. I want to leave this thought with you. The judgment that's coming on the United States Maybe it appears to be coming at the hand of evil people, people willing to tear, you know, the country apart and things like that. But also, I've received prophecies, and, and then other people that I know have received prophecies that basically says these things are coming because you didn't follow the Lord. And the Lord are, is causing these things to come to pass. So we, we have to put in perspective that I'm being punished because of the ways of my country. And you want to make sure that you as an individual don't fall into that category. Follow the Lord, God, with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. It's a spiritual battle. It's going to look physical, but I'm telling you, there's many aspects that are, that are uh, spiritual. And the protective hand of God has left this country, but not necessarily individuals of this country who are following him with all their heart. Thank you.